everybody. I just wanted to come in and do a short tutorial on how to do um, the recovery journal we'll be working out of for recovery art. I could generally have a couple of these in my Etsy store. I'll, I'll make sure that they're loaded. Um, and I sell them for 20 bucks. Um, but if you want to make it yourself, I'm going to show you how to do it because the point is to to be able to have an interactive surface to work on to be able to do um, the recovery art. So I'm going to show you what a completed one looks like. It's bound with rings. Um, you could also use a three ring binder if you wanted to. Uh, I like this method because I can put as much bulk in here as I need to. I can add pages and take pages out and it will um, suit that purpose. This is the, the cover. I've just used uh, cards, uh, chipboard for that. This is envelopes. Uh, that one is like recycled. This is canvas, uh, came from a canvas pad or envelopes. Um, so if there's plenty of surfaces in here, the tags to, to work on whatever topic we're working on that day. And this should get you through the entire, um, the entire initial 12 steps. Um, this is notebook paper, uh, this is file folders or tags. I just wanted you to see um, these things that you, that I'm using. And these are what I, I have used. I used to work out of uh, just a regular um, art journal, but I I tend to make kind of a mess, and so I want to be able to take things out and let them dry and then put them back in. This is watercolor paper, which we will use a lot of. Um, that's another envelope. Um, this is more um, scrapbook paper. This is actually the texture card stock. And it's okay. So this is basically your, this is what it will look like when you're through creating your blank, your blank. And the one that I send you will be very much like this one. Um, I have a certain number of papers I put in. Uh, this one has a few more than I put in the others because um, this one is the one I'm going to be working out of. So let me show you what, what you need. And I will also put this listing up on my blog so you can go over there and get the, the list of supplies. So I'm going to start with the tools you're going to need are a three hole punch, scissors or a paper cutter. Um, you're going to need three rings, um, 12 envelopes, and this is, some of them are new and some of them are recycled um, from, from things that, that I have around. These are index cards. Just You're going to work on a lot of these during this time. So I like the kind with the lines so that I can journal on them, but generally um, it's not going to make that much difference if it has the lines or not. So it's just a preference. This is a paper sack. There are 12 tags here. If you don't have tags, you can make them just out of your file folders or your um, your car cardstock, whatever, and just by, you know, just creating this general shape, cutting off the corners punching a hole in there and that'll work fine. Um, this is you know, eight pieces of art papers. And so these are, this one is a canvas. This one, these are watercolor papers. And these are heavy cardstock in white. Um, you're going to take a piece of pattern scrapbook paper, whatever you love. I'm kind of a big fan of maps, but you're the butterflies or you're the pink, whatever it is. Um, 
do something you love. Absolutely. Uh, you know, <laughs> cut them in half, fold them, and punch your holes. Okay. Um, your two pieces of cardstock for your covers, but cereal box will work great. It'll work really good. Um, eight pieces of graph paper. Eight pieces of construction paper. And two file folders cut in half so that they're four pieces. Okay, this is the next thing we're going to do is to take these four things and we're going to we're gonna make four stacks. One, two, three, four. And what we're gonna do with this is we're going to kind of spread these out. Um, That dingly ding is absolutely the Amazon man. Man, he's like my favorite person right now because it's close to Christmas. Um, we're gonna, you're gonna keep on doing, making these four stacks. And the reason we're doing this is so that we can get the paper and the envelopes and the cardstock and the, those kinds of things into the journal kind of evenly. It, they can be moved around. You can take them in. You can you can take them out, add more, lose some papers. In fact, if there's other papers you love, put them in there. Um, that would be totally amazing if you found and totally okay if you found something you wanted. Um, so I know I'm, these are the art papers and we're going to continue to do this until we have all, all of the paper um, separated, all of the, the bags and these things we've got here. If you want to throw in some, a, a few more pieces. Uh, the reason that I have worked at, on it with this amount is because I know that it will fit these rings. But if you wanted more in there or less or different rings or whatever, you can do, do pretty much whatever you want. I'm just giving you this basic rundown of, of how this this goes. And so there's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so now you have your, have your stacks. The uh, index cards will come later. They'll, come, they'll be the last thing we do. So on your bottom stack, Go ahead and put your put your bottom cover, and then stack them until you get to the top. So here is your here is your sandwich, your journal sandwich. Okay, this one is all together. So now I'm going to take some of these little suckers and put them in the envelope. It doesn't really matter how many, um, and they may not even stay there, but at least you, they'll just be there where you can get them 
quickly and it's time to do whatever you need to do. Other things you might want to collect for doing this particular uh, journal is to get definitely more envelopes. Use envelopes from your bills. Uh, from you know, that use um, use book book sheet pages from old books, uh, music, hymnals, uh, scrapbook paper that you love, card stocks, and whatever colors you love. Um, ephemera, uh, things like. Um, I don't know, butterflies, buttons, things that you enjoy, things that make you happy, things that that are get dear to you, things you love. I'm, for example, I, I live in New Mexico. I have a big fascination with um, all things Southwest. I love this country, and I love I love the uh, Native American and the Mexican heritage is here and I enjoy their art and I enjoy their their culture um, their food if you ever come to New Mexico you gotta try the food amazing so things like that things that, that you really enjoy um, things that are meaningful to you um, and that can be applied to, to paper I mean you don't want to I'm not going to stick a bow and arrow in there, is what I'm saying. Um, but you, this is how you begin. This is it. And this is your, whatever side is the front is the side you say it is. It, it doesn't matter. And we won't work on the covers right away, but we will get to that um, while you're adding things, while you're adding things in. And um, yeah. This should be it. Um, oh, one more thing. Uh, I will be putting all of this on the blog. Um, um, MixedMediaShenanigans.com. Click on Recovery Art. It should be right there. Um, as far as art supplies go, to do this journal, um, anything goes. Um, I, I work with a lot of art supplies. But you decide what you love. Uh, do... Um, watercolor crayons, watercolor um, cakes, markers, colored pencils, pastels, paint, anything you, that you that you want. And I work with all of these things generally on one painting, so, or, or one, one art or one postcard. So um, just be thinking about the things that you love. You don't have to spend a ton of money on it. Um, you can do pretty much anything you like. Um, as far as art supplies go and the sky's the limit so that's how you do that and I will be seeing you soon for another recovery art alright so don't even worry about it if you're one of those OCD people that has to have everything perfect oh boy are you fixing to get an education okay Baby, 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 oh, baby. This song's stuck in my head. At least it's not the Bohemian Rhapsody again this week. I'm just a little silly, I do have a moon, gonna moosh, gonna moosh, gonna do the fun dongle.